50% of my portfolio is in three companies and I am happy with this placement. I am 100% positive that in five years, these companies are going to be bigger. I don't need to worry about it. In my opinion, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, oh, this is too risky. This is blah, blah, blah. But guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm a true believer in John Templeton's way of investing. You invest when there's maximum pessimism in the market. And guess what? There is maximum pessimism in China. Everyone says China's bad, China's this, it's a bad market. It doesn't matter. If this was Canada and everyone hated Canada, I would invest the same amount of money. If it was the US and everyone hated US and everyone was running away from the market, I would do the same. I don't believe in the mainstream narrative of China and how they're gonna take your money, whatever they're saying, because I just don't see it happening. If you truly believe that China is going to take your money, get out of Apple, get out of TSM, get out of all of these companies that have so much money going into China and coming out of China, Starbucks, whatever company you want to talk about. So right now, Alibaba, Tencent, JD.com are all down today because look what came out. The China GDP data came out and it was 4.7%. The estimation was 5.1%. So all the Chinese companies are down today, but this doesn't make any sense because think about this. Why is this market down when China is growing faster than every developed country? So they're going 4.7% GDP for this quarter. So are you telling me that China is growing faster than all the developed countries and the market is going down today? That's why you just have to kind of completely get rid of all these economic estimates and all these noise because if USA was growing 4.7% for the quarter or like five or six, man, everyone would go wild. The S&P would be up like seven, 10% for the day. So that's how you can kind of ignore the noise. It's all garbage. China is still growing the fastest for a developed country. Three main reasons I can have 50% of my portfolio in JD.com, Baba and Tencent because they're very undervalued. Like for example, Alibaba is selling cheaper than the IPO, which is insane. Even though everything is up like 10 X, 20 X, their revenue, their income, whatever it is, they have incredible moats. These three companies are staple in the Chinese market. Like they're not going anywhere. So I can kind of depend on where they're going to be in the next five to 10 years where they're pretty much 90% confident. So that's how I know I can own these companies for the long term and their capital allocation strategies. All three companies are doing exactly what I wanted to do. Buying back shares, giving me a dividend and growing the business all at the same time. So how can you go wrong with that? All these three things make these investments a perfect fit for me. You can see right now we have Baba at $78. Look at the forward PE of eight, 8.8. .8. We have a price to earnings ratio right now of 16. We have a free cash flow yield of 11%. And that's not even discounting all the cash they have on the balance sheet, which is around like 60 billion. So this cash flow yield is way higher than it's perceived to be. We have a dividend yield still at around 2%. This is like 1%, but it's around 2.7%. So you have Alibaba very undervalued. Compare this to any other company, large cap company in the US market, you couldn't even compare. So this is what I'm seeing in the market. We have huge cash flow yields, paying out a special dividend and buying back shares. Remember, they're buying back shares at cheap prices right now. Alibaba is still selling below its IPO price, which is just insane when you think about all the growth that Alibaba has achieved so far. We have JD.com at $26. 24% cash flow, free cash flow yield. That is incredible. Selling at a forward PE of four. Man, if you were to buy this company right now and you get a 24% free cash flow yield, if you bought the whole company, you would be ecstatic. You'd be so happy. They pay, they pay around a 2% dividend and they're buying back shares. Then we have Tencent. Tencent is the most expensive company, but still, for what it does for the whole structure of Tencent, it's worth it. $50 a share, 4 PE of 16. We have a free cash flow yield around five, a dividend around 0.8. Tencent is still undervalued in my opinion for like everything they do and how diverse the company is. So that's the key thing about Tencent. This is why it's trading at a higher multiple than Alibaba and JD.com. For example, look what they do. 
They have social networks, which is basically reach out. They have domestic games, international games, value added services, online advertising. They have other programs. They have cloud. They have Tencent Pay. Man, like it's just incredible. To move around in China, you have to use Tencent and WeChat. So it's an incredible company for the long term. It's very entrenched in China. Then we have Alibaba and JD.com, which are entrenched in the e-commerce space. They hold majority of the e-commerce market, especially JD.com with this entrenched logistics network. And that's the moat that it's going to provide, especially with high quality products. It has that market pretty much solidified with phones and home appliances. Then we have Baba, which is crazy because their cloud market is solidified at like 39, 40%. So if we can see that growing double digits, like that is just insane dominance for the cloud market in China. And we know that cloud market is going to grow. And they have Tabai Tmall that are still growing, which they have a dominant section of that e-commerce market still. So I know those companies have strong moats. They're entrenched for now. And I can assume five to 10 years out, they're still going to be growing. And that's what I need when I have these huge positions. 50% of my portfolio in these companies doesn't even seem that big or that risky in my opinion guys so what do you think about my portfolio allocation do you disagree do you agree what's your take like and comment down below peace